Cecilia Lanyon and Dominic Zampano. We are the owners of the gallery and the peanut gallery in Lake Forest. And you are listening to the Lake Forest podcast. Oh, success. This is going to be a good show, guys. All right. All right. Here we, here we go. Rock and roll. Welcome to the Lake Forest podcast, a podcast about the lovely city of Lake Forest, featuring topics like local news, sports, music, people, and food. My name is Pete, and I'm Joe with my co-host, Scoo Walker. And we all live in Lake Forest. Scoo, we have a sponsor for the show. Dakota Insurance Group. <laughs> They've got your back. Why? Because that's what friends are for. Dakota Insurance handles all your residential and in commercial insurance needs. Get a quote now at dakotainsurancegroup.com. Okay, one of the things we like to do here at the Lake Forest Podcast is give some small business love to our local businesses in Lake Forest. And today we're joined by Cecilia Lanny and Dominic Zampano of the Gallery and Peanut Gallery in Lake Forest. Let's chat with them and find out what's going on at the Gallery and Peanut Gallery. Cecilia, Dominic, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Oh, this is going to be a good one. We've been trying to get you guys for a long time. <laughs> So you to, you, things getting back to normal? Yeah, we're getting there. Um, Good. You know, it's a, it's an ongoing process, but uh, you know, with everything open right now, we're uh, we're starting to see a lot of familiar faces again at both both locations. So uh, it's really good. Well, guys, I'm a newbie to Lake Forest. Three years in, and there's people moving in all the time. Why don't you guys give a little clue in about your two locations? Because they're kind of on, you have uh, fast food on one side and you have art on the other. Can you kind of clue us in? <laughs> sure. So we started with the gallery and the gallery is an art gallery and a restaurant. And the menu for the food is informed by the artwork on display. So as we rotate each art exhibit, Dominic will sit down and work with each of the artists to come up with sort of his inspiration and use that to inform the menu. And um, we were so happy to have a really wonderful clientele, but we also noticed that a lot of people specifically chose to leave their kids home in order to come to the gallery for day night. So we thought peanut gallery would be a really fun sort of response to that. So the peanut gallery is intended well, it was sort of made for the kids, more burgers, chicken sandwiches, fries, and then, of course, chocolate shop ice cream. Um, but we really, yeah, we're out of Madison, so we love them. Uh -huh. And um, we thought that both, both really serve the community and come. Hey, one more time, guys. Your cell's going in and out. Oh, shoot. You must have, you must have at and <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> Should I'm I kidding, redo I'm the kidding. whole thing? Yeah. Oh. Uh, the, last, uh, the last 30 seconds. Uh, the last 30 seconds were that the peanut gallery was sort of a response for the kids in town uh, to have burgers, chicken sandwiches, french fries, and chocolate chop ice cream out of Madison um, to appeal to the kids. Got it. Mmm. So, so let's start with the peanut gallery, okay? I walk by all the time. Where is it? You got the old Burger King that turned into a sushi place. You got the cleaners. You got Jeff Ursos' new place, Donati's there. Where is the peanut gallery? Scoo, where is it? It's next to the foot place. Get your feet done. <laughs> is that on your flyers? So you go inside, you have to go inside, and then to the right or the left when you walk in. I just need to know. It's straight back. Straight to the straight back. Straight back. Okay, got it. We're right All next right. to the old Burger King. Next to the old Burger King. Okay. Now, I, everybody tells me. I mean, I started with you guys, I don't know, months ago. We had Joe from <laughs> Chiefs on. He said, we got to get you guys on. I, I've been trying. I know you guys have been busy. I hear the burgers are fantastic. All right. You see Thank this you. big dude walking in there asking for a couple double burgers. Okay, you'll know who it is. All right. <laughs> Got it. Three now, double burgers and a dirty chicken burger, whatever it is. Dirty That's burger. Love the dirty bird. Oh. oh. No, I would like That's to have a clean favorite. bird, please. 
No, you don't. You don't, Pete. <laughs> All right. Now, now, my wife is more of the art person, so clue me on the gallery, because we walk by and we see the nice wine glasses in there, and that piques her interest. So g give us an example of a, uh, the last few showings you've had there. Is it like a sure. regular thing, or is it a special schedule? Uh, we do three-month increments for each of the artists. So right now we have uh, Lake Forest native Mark McMahon, and the show is sort of his world studio. So we have um, pictures from all of his travels across the world, and then we also have paintings that he made. He jokes they're his COVID paintings when he was sort of stuck um, painting in fields and flowers, and they're large-scale acrylics that are really beautiful. Um, before, who was the one before Mark? Oh, we had a woman named Linda Ann Weber before Mark, who was um, primarily more abstract paintings. Um, and she did really gorgeous pieces on um, canvas as well. Uh, we also have, you know, anytime we could do photography, mixed media, sculpture, anything like that. Um, we try and try and mix it up every few shows. Now, is there regular hours, days of the week? Uh, are you call in advance? Like what for the new um, people? We're open Thursday through Saturday for regular dinner service. And then we do special events Sunday and other days of the week. So tonight we have a ticketed event that is the artist, Mark McMahon, is doing a talk. Um, so we're doing that tonight. Sunday, we usually um, do special menus. We did a, a night called Raise the Steaks, where we were lucky enough to get uh, the Wagyu beef in. And so we did like oh. a fancy steak night. Um, and we usually recommend, we book about a week out for reservations, certainly on the weekend. So if you're interested in coming in, we usually recommend about a week before. And you can book online or by calling us. Now, we say online, is it like uh, open table or to your website? We are, it's, um, it's through our website, but we use a reservation system called Talk, um, and they okay. double as a ticketing system, too. So very easy to navigate, we think. And then, and then, your, and then your website is thegallerylf.com, right? That's correct. Okay, got it. Okay. Stu, I'm hogging all the time. You want, you want to get some questions in here? I'm I'm you're good. They, I'm good. <laughs> They're gonna have great well, I both ends. Well, well, I, I want you to do. When are you gonna do the? Uh, um, what did you guys barbecue. do last year? Yeah, <laughs> that was good. It's, it's in the works. It's don't in the works. Don't got, you worry. We got two new uh, barbecue rigs. One's a trailer, and one's a uh, uh, just a little smaller than that. So we've uh, we've had it out a couple of times already, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have a big barbecue event this summer. Oh, I know you, you guys do. I'll, I'll let you know. We got a couple. Of, we got a couple of guest chefs coming, so it should be oh. good. You guys gonna do any brisket? We may. It, it, uh, oh, oh, kind of okay. depends on what everybody's up for. <laughs> How Ribs and chicken for sure. We might do brisket. We might not. I don't know. Okay. Now, how are you guys doing with the beef and uh, the shortages? Uh, are you guys getting by enough supply? Joe's telling me he's he, he's almost running out of chicken wings. He's got to go through Urso or some guy in Northbrook to get his wings. Uh, uh, you know, we we've been uh, pretty fortunate that uh, my relationship with with my vendor I've had for uh, twelve years, so. He kind of gives me a heads up when things are happening. So we're yeah, able yeah. to secure products prior to uh, any of the shortages. The only disadvantage, though, is that, um, you know, just like everybody, uh, the prices are through the roof right now. But uh, yeah. we're, it's, we're still able to get product. How are you guys doing with help? You, uh, having a fine, hard time getting good help? Um, you know, not really. Um, we, uh, when the pandemic hit, we, uh, uh, we made a decision not to furlough or lay off any of our employees, um, which was a huge benefit for us because when we were able to reopen, we had our staff still. So right. uh, we didn't lose anybody and we picked up a, a couple of key pieces um, through free agency, if you will. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
So we're uh, we're doing pretty well right now. I think they they took everybody from Chiefs uh, school. <laughs> Sounds like it. Uh, so Joe no. says everyone's left Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, we we've been really blessed to have um, nearly every one of our team members has been with us for over two to three years at this point, and then um, it's been nice because they refer other associates and such and um, anybody who's come into the gallery or peanut gallery will probably tell you how nice and fortunate we are to have such a great team we work with right you know, well, uh, are they gonna at the peanut gallery are you gonna put the tables back out there i know they're gone now we put a, we bring them in every night no no at the at the peanut gallery i walked down there through lunch there's no tables oh we, we take them in at the end of the night. If you came by on a Monday or Tuesday, we're, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. But if you walk by either before or after we're open or closed, we bring them in at night. Oh, I got you. But we have them. So those are your tables. Yeah. <laughs> How long have they been fixing up that building there? That, that, I mean, you had all that work done, then you had COVID. It's been a rough couple of years, huh? Yeah, I mean, we we looked at the building um, before Altunian bought it, actually, just to see what was going on with it. And Altunians yeah. have done an amazing job updating it. But there's been, I mean, there's a there's a lot of work. It's not a small feat. So yeah. um, we did we did finally open, and then about three months in, COVID hits. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> but on two, really, and two of those big spots were supposed to be restaurants, which right, yeah. Um, we opened, I think, a few weeks after Kuro, so they had moved the foot spa over, they had moved Michael's over, um, and then we opened a few months after Kuro, and it was just the, you know, the back of the building, and then everybody just went dark for a little bit, <laughs> so, but we're coming what, through what, it now. What, what were some of the biggest things you learned from COVID? Well, like some some restaurants was, online online menus, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I for us we we sort of pivoted the best we could. So, Peanut Gallery, what we ended up doing was we shifted, we closed the gallery operations just because it's a it's a huge building. Uh, right. well, 4,000 square feet. Peanut Gallery is only 800 square feet. So we shifted all of our employees over to Peanut Gallery, and we um, offered both menus out of the one location. And then we started doing specialty menus, which were a really wonderful opportunity to give us an idea of what food people would be into that we wouldn't have really tried out if there weren't that unique set, uh, set of circumstances. So we did like um, a, funny, uh, a funny Italian night with uh, Fat Tony's from The Simpsons was our theme for that guy. <laughs> We did folded, which was sandwiches and bao buns, um, sushi, all sorts of fun stuff that really gave us excellent insight onto what people in town want. Got so it. we were really lucky to have all that information. And then the other huge thing it did was create even more camaraderie in our team than we ever had before, because talk about building resilience <laughs> as much as you could in last year. Oh, hey, man. Cecilia, you have the, um, at the gallery, you got outside in the front. Are you opening up in the back, too? Oh, yeah. Back patio is open. So, um, no kidding. Uh, yeah. So we have nice outdoor patio. patio. Thank you, Stu. I think so, too. <laughs> so the back, I didn't know it was the back to the gallery. I mean, I see the front all the time walking, you know, walking the dog. Okay. So a week in advance, Paul, to get to the gallery. Go you got connections the... now, Pete. I yeah, gotta... you, Pete, you just oh. give me a call. <laughs> well, I just want to – I don't know if my wife's listening because she likes the art, she likes the wine and all that stuff. I'm going to try to get to the peanut gallery first. I'm a peanut gallery guy if I can find it. Hey, you got to be careful walking in the gallery, Pete. <laughs> I got to walk in sideways. <laughs> Break it, you bought it. Uh, so, Cecilia, do you have any uh, business you'd like to tag? I think uh, Jeff Urso and Joe uh, suggested to bring you guys on. Uh, who would you? Th who do you think oh, we should great. bring on the show next? 
Uh, let's see. I mean, there's there's so many great food establishments around here that we, I mean, we're so lucky, especially seeing that with the exception of Market House, all of them stayed open and Market House is really becoming an amazing new venture too, which is going to be yeah. so wonderful for the community. I don't know if you guys have talked to um, Ferentino's yet or like Sweets down the street. They're great too. You know, I'm going to try oh, and, them both and, again. Um, I'm sorry. I, and Left Bank. Have you guys talked to Susan Sims? Oh, yeah. Left Bank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She, no, she's... Uh, Scoo made sure I got a hold of Sue. But uh, the other two, I'm having a hard time. Sweets, uh, I'm having a hard time. I, I finally got you two. Now, <laughs> now I got to get them. So, Sweets, I'm going to put it down again. And I apologize that we were so hard to to narrow down schedule-wise. Hey, you, We've you're working. We've been wanting to come on here, so. You got a job. <laughs> I do. <laughs> It's not like you're a podcast host. <laughs> hey, that's a lot of work too, you know. Well, you you're know. Calling me. Yeah. Well, Scoo doesn't. Scoo. Scoo any, final, any final questions for Cecilia and uh, Dominic? Okay. No, you guys are doing a great job. Oh, could I Everyone? do one little, one more shout out? Please. So I'm I'm also the director of the Deer Path Art League, and we put on yeah. the Labor Day Art Fair every year. And um, we are so excited. We had to cancel it last year for the first time in 67 years, but we are going to be doing it this year. We're gonna have music, food, artists, and it's Labor Day weekend and it's gonna be a blast. So we hope to see everybody Labor there. Labor Day weekend, okay. Can you send me a, an email on that? I'll put it in the show notes and then we should do Perfect. something Thank closer you. to Labor Day to uh, give a lot of shout out. Maybe I'll do a burger review uh, a la Portnoy outside of your place you know one bite everybody knows the rules one bite for me the burger's gone <laughs> pete, you gotta get, style, pete. Pete, get over there for dinner tonight pete i know what not it is today. now it's not tuesdays oh see uh, is it tuesday yeah. get over there tomorrow <laughs> lunch and dinner yep life and insurance land i hear you well so see <laughs> cecilia dominic thank you so much for coming on the show this is awesome Pete, Scoo, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks, guys. thanks guys. Appreciate it. Well, thanks for listening to the Lake Forest Podcast. Please give us five stars on Apple Podcasts and smash that like button on Facebook, Instagram, and follow us on Twitter. Let us know what you like to hear about on the upcoming shows. Again, I'm Pete, and I can be reached at Pete at LakeForestPodcast.com. The link will be in the podcast notes below. On behalf of my co-host, Scoo Walker, we thank you for listening. <laughs> Cue the band. <laughs>